Welcome to the Casper Planetarium Astronomy Podcast. My name's Rod. Uh, I'm going to be presenting here today. Now, uh, yesterday we talked about how the rotational axis of the Earth always points in the same direction. So today we're going to explore how that looks from here on Earth. So here we've got our simulator set for uh, here in Casper tonight at 8.30 p.m. Uh, we're looking kind of north-northeast. And if you look high in the northeast here, you see this very prominent uh, group of stars. This is an asterism all of us are familiar with called the Big Dipper. But the Big Dipper is not really a constellation. It is an asterism. It is part of something bigger, something we call the Big uh, Ursa Major, the Great Bear. And we can use the... Uh, the Big Dipper, or Ursa Major, to find our way around the sky. So what let's do is let's turn that off for a second here. And let's, if we look, here is the Big Dipper's handle. Here is the cup of the Dipper. If we use these two stars in the bowl of the Dipper, called Mirac and Dubay, they point in a straight line they keep going in a straight line to the star right here called Polaris. So we can use the Big Dipper to find Polaris, which is the North Star. So we go from Ursa Major, Mirac, to Dubai, across to Polaris. Polaris is the North Star. It, it, which means that it is almost directly over the North Celestial Pole. As we can see here, it's just a degree, a little less than a degree away from the North Celestial Pole. Now, in the same region of the sky, if we go from the Big Dipper or Ursa Major to Ursa Minor, and we keep going, we come to the constellations Cassiopeia and Cepheus. Uh, winding its way between the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper is the constellation Draco the Dragon. Here is a, con a strange constellation called Camelopardalis. And our ancient, when people began publishing books, they believed that illustrations would be helpful in looking at. Oops, that's not the right one. This one, there we go. Uh, the illustrations were useful in depicting what they looked like. So Draco is a dragon. Cassiopeia and Cepheus are the queen and king. Camelopardalis is a giraffe. And then Ursa Major and Ursa Minor are bears. Now, the interesting thing about this area of the sky right here is... These constellations are all what we call circumpolar. They never rise. They never set. They're always visible all night, every night, above the horizon. So if we were to back out a little bit, all of these constellations within this red circle are circumpolar. If we were to watch over a period of time at night... Well, let's speed up just a little bit. Let's speed up just a little bit. There we go. We could notice that all the stars go around the North Celestial Pole in a big circle. So, stars over here in the east rise, stars over here in the west set, and these constellations go around in a great big circle. So that is uh, a little bit about this area of the sky. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about a couple of other constellations that we can see in the sky. And this tomorrow we'll talk about constellations we see in the southern part of the sky. So we'd like to thank everybody for joining us today and we'll see you tomorrow.